Am I live here? Fuck me in the ass with a two by four. Hold on. I'm I'm gonna punch a child. <sighs> okay. You know what? <laughs> I gotta laugh about it or I'm gonna cry about it. Hold on. Okay, this is- what a mess. What an absolute mess! Oh yeah, no, Ashley, that makes a huge difference. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something, I've been- listen, listen, I've been rolling around on this here little rolly chair. <sighs> okay. This looks like it's being filmed on an Easy Bake Oven! Oh, okay. Instead, instead, instead of bitching about it, you know what we're gonna do, do? We're gonna, we're gonna be grateful, thankful, and blessed that we finally got sound and picture. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Hot Mess Express and is making early stops and mini stops. Hold on, now I gotta look. Look, I had this whole set. Look at this. Look at this shit right here. I had this whole setup over here. Y'all can probably hear me twice. Let me do that. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. Panties on the doorknob. No. Okay. You know what, Rebecca? Now that I see you comment about Ethernet, maybe this is... Maybe I should. So anyways, like I was saying before... Before I made a fucky walkie 27 times. Uh, big, big storm in Tennessee today. And oh, Chris, I'm wearing I'm wearing your merch because I just got done filming uh Ether Ethernet will help. I just got done filming arsenic and old lace. Hi from Canada. Hi, Tammy. Andrew picture is better because I switched computers. Well, that makes sense. It's the storm. Yeah, definitely not me. It's nothing that I've done because I'm always very prepared. Okay, so it's not me. Couldn't be me. It's the storm. Oh, thanks, Sarah. Hi from Israel. Well, hello. So anyways, as I was asking y'all, how y'all doing? <laughs> from the UK. <gasps> did y'all watch the coronation? We did. It's more like a light bright. Yes. I mean, I can try to plug in my, my camera, but honestly, I've tried to do too many things today. <laughs> So you were saying how much you love La La Land. You're so right. I definitely did say that I love that. Um, Daniel, I think so. It would have been on the other, the previous live. Ricky, Ashley and Old Lace. I, spoiler, loved Arsenic and Old Lace. I thought it was a hilarious film. Hey, Broadway by Ghostlight. Hey. Gio, I haven't seen what? Oh my God, Ingy Bingy, you're so right. It was a very good silly hat day. I forgot about the derby being, you know, a thing that was happening. Tyler, did I get your package? Hold on, let me make sure I cover your address. Okay. Yes. He drew Betty White. Okay, I... Okay, I thought for sure. Oh, he's under the sticker. I was going to say, I knew for sure that you drew E.T. on here. Oh, John said he works nights. Well, there you go. Hell yeah, Tyler. I got your package. Okay, so then there's... Let me cover your address again. Can y'all see it? That's E.T. Let me see if I can... Because I see his chest, his wrinkly old chest. Meg Ryan and Hugh Jackman? I don't, Kate and Leopold? I don't know that one. Uh, Geo, I fucking hope so, bro. Hold on. Let me I gotta rearrange things here. If we if we're gonna be broken, we might as well We might as well be broken together. Hold on, I'm coming, Jesse! Very professional, very professional. Mwah. 
I just came here to say tomorrow I turn 35 and to announce that you have betrayed us all by skipping Batman Returns and the other Batman movies. Shame. Number one, happy birthday. Number two, I know people have been roasting me on, on uh, Twitter about it. The name of my new cat is Charlie. Anything orange from Timu? Yeah. Hell yeah, I do. Hey, JRR. Grr. Okay, so thanks for bearing with me while everything went to hell in a handbasket, per use. Love that for us. Um, Ricky said he sent a surprise for Blake. Robin wants to know if I got her package. Um, I think so. I think so. I think I did. Sorry, that's not very reassuring, Robin. I'm very sorry. So what's everybody else? Okay, so we watched the coronation this weekend. Oh my god, so I had to cancel Thursday's stream. Because my tummy was big upset. The only way I could have strum was if it was from the toilet. And listen, some people may be into that, but I simply wasn't. And so I canceled my stream. And now Blake has the little tummy bug. So just to let y'all know, there's a little stomach bug going around. Because my brother had it before I went home. Was it my brother? My grandma. Two very different people. My grandma told me that she had a tummy bug. And then I was all like hugging on my grandma and stuff. And then I got the tummy bug. And now Blake does not feel good. You had a different stream going. Yes. And at one point, it was both ends. We found the thing that Ashley won't share with us. <laughs> Toilet Twitch. Yeah, I don't do... I don't do... I don't do potty things. Do the cats like the balls? Yes, they do. Charlie does not respect, like, the bowl color. But I have their different balls. My tummy was big upset last month. Shay, see, it's going around. My mom's a kindergarten teacher, and she said that she's had a lot of kids having the shits recently. Ah. Beans and Charlie scared by the storm. Beans isn't. She doesn't care, but Charlie doesn't like thunderstorms. Strom is now the official past tense of stream. You're welcome. Charlie's a cat. <clears throat> Top dog? I'm thinking of Top Gun, but I've already seen Top Gun, right? Yes. Yes. I have seen Top Gun. Ingy bingy. Let me see. Charlie's not in here right now. Charlie was in here, and then he ski diddly daddled. Ten things I hate about you somewhere nearby the dark night. Tyler, I get nervous. I get nervous! Daniel, I just wanted to recommend Simon Birch. Not sure how to get it in the polls, but was hoping she could get behind me on this one. Actually, somebody wrote... Let me get my stickies. Somebody mentioned, and I wanted to make a note of it. Um, Sandlot, Major League, and you said Simon Birch? Okay. Am I a fan of Twizzlers? Hell yeah, I'm a fan of Twizzlers. Hey, Randy! <gasps> oh my god! Okay, sorry. So, um, Rebecca was like an orange Timu bag, and I was like, yes! Look at- oh my god, there's so many gray babies! Oh, you can't see. Fuck. Okay, so those are gray kitty cat stickers. Hold on. I need to organize better. Oh, stop it. Is this a pineapple wine cork? It's Charles! Toxic Goonie, you take that shit back right now. Little kitty cat toys. Listen, Charlie be fucking it up. Oh, is this a stress, Charlie? I needed that about 20 minutes ago. Not even 20 minutes. So you can whine and chill out. <gasps> a beansy. What are these? Stickers? What are these? No, they're like... Are they coasters? <gasps> a wrist rest kitty! I have not watched Top Gun Maverick yet. Carlos, of course I'm interested in reacting to... Stop it! Pineapple lights. Of course I'm interested in reacting to the James Bond movies. Michael Montgomery, thank you for your super chat. Ten dollars. 
No, it's it's a, <laughs> Jay Brisby said Hitler beans. And I was like, it's not Hitler beans, but honestly, it do it do kinda. It, with the sticker there, it do kinda. You'll never guess what ET has if you successfully move the sticker. Okay, I'll move it next. You know what, Francisco? I haven't watched anime movies on the channel, but I'm definitely open to it. Oh, look at the Harry Potter pin. I'm definitely open to the anime movies. I know Studio... How do you say that word? Ghibli? <laughs> I've never heard the word said before. I don't know how to say it. Studio... Whatever the hell. I know those movies get flagged for copyright all the time. Isn't him cute? Oh! I said it right! I can't even speak English correctly, and I said that right. I love that for me. Yeah, so I've heard that they are real strict on copyright for that, but uh, other than that, I'm down for, like, whatever. It's gib, not jib. So, ghibli? Or did I say it that way the first time? I don't remember what I said. Would you like a 4K camera for filming? I have one, and it's you. that's usually what I use, Sean. But I couldn't get it to work earlier, which is why I was on that computer. And then when I was on that computer, everything went to hell in a handbasket. Okay, Tyler, since we're just chatting and you want me to get the sticker off. Tease for what will hopefully arrive for the next live. Do you have space to... Whoa. For beans, another painting. Please watch Field of Dreams for Fathers. Let me make a note of Field of Dreams, though. See, so this is how I get all the ideas for polls. I either take pictures or I make notes. Hi, Mick Sailor. Of course, of course I have room. Of course I have room. Or we were just talking about how this is Nike. Oh, Mick Feeders, Fetters. David, thank you so much for that super chat. And thank you for your first super chat ever. I appreciate it. Oh, Chris, thank you so much for asking about the collab. That drops the 15th, so next Monday. Oh, don't look up Tyler's address. Daniel, I am gonna have a whole pride, um... Oh, no! Where the fuck is E.T.? Hold on. I'm, like, performing surgery on this here box. <laughs> Chris, finish Lord of the Rings already! It's gonna be up, so Lord of the Rings is going to be up on a sequels poll. I needed some shorter films for this month because I had the collab coming up, and we have, like, a vacation plan in a couple of weeks. Actually, that's a lie. Next week. Anyway, so I need some shorter films, so editing Ashley had time to do that. Tyler. I really thought I was gonna have to fucking guess. Hold on, I'm just use this post office sticker. Have you ever heard of the TV show called Schmigadoon? What? No. I don't even know how to say it. Okay, so let's add. You won't know something. My dumbass brain could not put together what that drawing was. And I just now realize it's beans. Just now. My dumbass, this is, this, my dumbass. Okay, so I was like, Betty White also E.T. holding a fucking pineapple. Chris, whatever works better for you. I, I don't, whatever's cheapest for you, honestly. Because shipping can be a butt. At first I thought bees was a chicken leg. I thought it was, I thought it was the fly. Okay, see, okay. I thought this was from the fly. So I saw a little long nose, a frowny face, an eyeball, and hair. So I thought it was Jeff Goldblum as a fly. This is fucking beans. Her fat ass. I thought she was a fly. If you decide to watch anime, then Marnie and what? When Marnie was there would be great Mother's Day watch. Oh, fuck. I forgot about Mother's Day. Well, Mother's Day isn't going to get a dedicated movie. I'll tell you that. Make a note, Harlem Nights for next Black History Month poll. I'll add it onto a regular poll. Let me just. Where's Beans? I think she's upstairs. She might come in here, though. Well, Tyler, I'm going to go ahead and open your boxes. This is in my hand. Okay, so, okay, just again. Betty White. 
I wish I was just talking to Blake last night how I wish I could draw. Fat ass beans. Look her. She cute. E.T. holding a pineapple. Normal things. Hi, Roy! Fork. Air Force One. You know what? Blake tells me that movie's really good. Let me write that one down, too. Air Force One. There's one in the front, too. Woo! Have I seen it? What front are you talking about? Oh, no! Oh, I gotta take off this part of the sticker. They put the stickers in the worst place. JK Gaming, Field of Dreams. I hear that was gonna make me cry. You know what? Okay. Actually, I need to Google that. I need your help figuring out something. I'm Googling things. Okay, they're close enough. Okay, 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 okay. In the chat, Geo, talk to us. Okay, so with this week being as crazy, or this month being as crazy as it is, and the collab coming up and all that jazz, I didn't want to put a poll on Patreon, but now I guess this is kind of like a poll. It doesn't matter. Okay, so not the 15th. What's the next Monday? What's What comes after 15th? Not the 16th, the next Monday, the 20-something. Would y'all rather have Chasing Amy or Beaches? Tell me the chat. Chase, chasing Amy or Beaches? Why do y'all keep saying... Oh, the 22nd. I was like, what is 22? Chasing Amy. Whoa! Oh, shit. This is really... fit. I mean... Oh, Tachi, that's not a monthly Ashley's Choices, Dan. Do you think so? <laughs> Geo, mermaids. <laughs> Can I make a chat or a poll on YouTube? I don't know. You know a week is seven days. And you're you're making a big assumption that I know how to do simple math, baby. The green barrettes, berets, berets, berets for Memorial Day. What day is Memorial Day on? This month has just been wild for me. So let me tell you what's coming up on the channel. So tomorrow is Thelma and Louise. Long kiss, good night. Listen, long kiss, good night always loses polls too. Legend from 1985. Ray, thank you so much for your dollar super chat. Hold on, let me let me make a let me make a note. Long kiss goodnight always loses polls for some reason. I want to watch it, but it always loses. Legend 1985. Very excited for your induction to Cary Grant this Friday. Oh, FBI agent Max was Steven Tabalowski. Tabalowski. Ned. Oh, it wasn't Groundhog's Day. Oh. Cindy, please for my birthday! I can't promise anything for your birthday, but I definitely want to watch Beaches. Beaches real bad. Oh! Okay, sorry. Okay, focus, Ashley. Okay, so tomorrow is Thelma and Louise, and then Friday is Arsenic and Old Lace, and then Monday the 15th is going to be my first ever collab with uh, Mary Cherry. You might already watch her channel. I don't know. But um, if you don't, she's very funny, very cool. She's an Aussie. Put the shrimp on the barbie, mate. I wish I could go back in time and not do that. Anyway, she's an Aussie. We watched the 2004 movie Troy. Um... <laughs> Lord. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so the 50s. So this is how this works with Mary is part one of the movie Troy is going to be uh, on May 15th on my channel, part one. Part two is going to be on her channel the next week. So 
May 15th is going to be part one of Troy on my channel. Then the next Friday is Some Like It Hot. And then the next Monday is either going to be Beaches or Chasing Amy. And then the next Friday is X-Men 3, The Last Stand. Okay, hear me out. Batman and Robin for Pride. Also, dinner on the 27th. Oh, ch oh, fuck. We were messaging about you being in Nashville. I forgot all about that. Hi, Ice. I did. I've been meaning to wear it. Like, here. I keep forgetting. I didn't have it tied on. I didn't. I didn't. One of the things was flipped and I didn't have it tied on fast enough. Or tight enough. So I'm like it hot was when the grumpy old men. Ooh, see, I haven't filmed it yet, Ingy Bingy. I'm so excited about it. Oh, Chris, that's your um, that's your con weekend. My audio went out. Rosemary, stop it. No, I'm not. You. Can Knoxville get a shout out? Chandler, I lived in Knoxville, baby. Is easier to edit. Also in and out for June Pride Month. I do have that one written down, Cheryl, for Pride, like to be on a poll. Cool Runnings. I hear that Cool Runnings is really good. Hi, Adrian and Jonathan. Both y'all. Hi, I just became a member on Patreon. I was wondering if you were considering continuing the Rocky series. I definitely include Rocky on my sequels polls, but it hasn't won yet. And I don't know. I guess because it was up against Harry Potter and then it'll be up against Lord of the Rings moving forward. So it's definitely still on my radar, but I don't have any plan for it right now. So I'm like a hot Tony Curtis, Jamie Lee's dad. Oh my God, I'm so excited because have I seen him? And I know I've seen her mama in Psycho, but have I seen him in anything yet? But you're right. I do feel like I do feel like everybody's watching Chasing Amy right now. Have you had to kill a mockingbird on the pole? No, actually, I haven't, Brian. I was in the production of it a few years ago, but I have never watched the movie. I do love, I do love Tim Curry. Okay, so sorry, I am still. <laughs> God damn it, Tyler. Here are some more very important additions to your extremely large library of movies. I think you'd find all five delightful in different and mostly unexpected ways. I'm sure any day now you'll announce a whole three-month series of just the movies I've sent you in recognition of my great taste and wisdom. Tyler's also very humble. If not, maybe all of my suggestions will win polls, especially after I hack into the Patreon and challenge all the votes. <laughs> it will be a smooth, what? It will be as smooth of a caper? As the one in that one movie, The Thomas Crown Affair. That's a good movie. You should check it out sometime. I think someone sent you a copy or two. Feed Beam some Vegemite and Charlie some headphone cables and Parker some whatever he eats. And tell Blake he is funny and he shouldn't feel so camera shy. Tyler, P.S. I couldn't think of a funny P.S. to put here. Oh, I couldn't think of a funny P.S. to put here, but I wanted to. It's a thought that counts, Tyler. But first off, Tyler. Hold on. Where am I going to keep cards? I keep all your letters, by the way. Everybody's. Not just Tyler's. Everybody's. I'm actually honestly surprised that Rebecca hasn't found something like that yet. Hi, Sean! Thank you so much! Big hugs to you! You're awesome. Ian, don't watch Batman and Robin until after you see Batman Returns and Batman Forever. Also, the Christian Bale Dark Knight sequels. So many Batman movies. Listen, I know the Thomas Crown Affair is always on polls and it always loses. Bob, arsenic and old lace. Thank you. And 1,000. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I see why y'all wanted me to watch that movie, by the way. It was really, I really enjoyed it. Oh, Rebecca said, oh, I had, I was holding back. Okay, girl. Uh. My Pride Month suggestion, an extremely spicy crime th thriller by the Wachowski sisters. Oh, Wachowski. I was close. Directors of The Matrix. What is this? Oh, covered for spoilers. Okay, but I at least need to read the title. Oh, Bound. <laughs> Ricky. Oh, well, now we know who Batman is. Ricky. Also, Ricky and any other Nashvillians in the... um in the chat. Are y'all surviving the Taylor Swift traffic? Bound is amazing. Barb and Star go to visit Del Mar. V Viesta. 
I hate myself. Long kiss goodnight should be for jingle beans. Should it really? Bound is a porno? Bound is a great thriller. Bound has a reputation. Okay, well, let, well, now we have to add it to the sticky. Who is Taylor Swift? Okay. Viesta del, del Mar, a comedy you'll love with a cameo by one of your all-time favorite people. Tachi, Bound is not a porno. It's just spicy. Well, we all know I'm, I'm a fan of spice. I very often and quite frequently think about Jamie Lee Curtis's scene in True Lies. I just looked up at my camera as if y'all see me there. What is this? Pop star. Never stop, never stopping. From the Lonely Island. We were just talking about... We were just talking about the Lonely Island on Twitch the other night. And we watched... We were talking about Susan Sarandon because Thelma and Louise. And that's when Ingi Bingi actually said Susan Sarandon is in Mother Lover music video. So on Twitch, we all watched um, Mother Lover music video together. I'm a mother lover. You're a mother lover. We should fuck each other's mothers. Fuck each other's moms. <laughs> I'll push in that lady where you came out as a baby. <laughs> Ain't no doubt this shit is crazy. Fucking each other's moms. Okay. So... Harry Potter, like you've never seen him before or could ever imagine, the first film by the Daniels who went into making everything everywhere all at once. Swiss Army Man. Cover for spoilers on the bank. True lies are trading places. <sighs> That's not fair. Because you see her titties in trading places. I have not seen mermaids yet, Emily. Also, thank you for your first super chat, by the way. Mermaids always gets put on a pole and always loses, but it's definitely in my radar, on my radar. I always thought Susan Sarandon had an old face when she was young, but now that she is older, it works. I was having that same thought as I was edi editing. Like, Susan Sarandon always appeared older, but now that she's older, but we get full booty and true lies. I think I would go with true lies, then trading places. Speaking of spicy horror for Pride and Susan Sarandon, the hunger. Not spicy Susan Sarandon. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, like that one night, Dragon Dude, uh, Titanic's on the channel. Titanic's on the channel. Actually, that's one of the few with Hubbin. Did you watch the whole trilogy with Justin and Sandburn? Trilogy of what? Like Lonely Island? <laughs> <laughs> this this cam makes you look like a VHS. It's a really shitty, just my laptop. Oh, ac actually, all maybe all I had to do was just, uh -huh. okay, I feel like y'all's mamas right now. Like, you got something on your face, baby. Let me get it. <laughs> well, that didn't help anything. Now my spit's on there. No, I haven't, Phoenix. I have not watched Fatal Attraction. Thank you, Geo, for that Titanic link. Dick in a Box, Mother Lover, and Golden Rule. Oh, fuck no! I need to do that. What would be the best... Oh, fuck. Tachi, what would be the best month? Just not May. I don't have plans for any other month. Or September. September is our wedding anniversary, so we'll probably, you know, travel somewhere for that. Other than that, I'm down for whatever. <laughs> Rubbing your spit on the camera does put spit on it. Nicholas Cage Family Man is good for jingle beans. Let me make a holiday movie. Family Man. It's one of my favorite things ever. I reach watch it every couple days. I'll give anything for you to react to the 1995 The Cure. Well, thank you so much for your super chat, by the way. And uh, sometimes I'll rewatch Still Magnolias if I need to cry. <laughs> Just in general. <laughs> the Hunger is great and has David Bowie playing one of the parts he was not. Oh! Well, because I've seen Labyrinth. Okay. The British political comedy by the guy who created Veep. Also starring Anna in the loop. Oh, 
I might watch this for the channel and then rewatch it with Hub and he would love that. Lady Gaga is with only Lonely Island and the Tipper Lake and Golden Rule. You should watch some Weird Al music videos too. You know what, Ian? I've never watched, I mean, other than UHF, I've never watched his music videos. Maybe I should. Ricky, you really assuming that me and Hubbin are social on Halloween. You really, you really assuming. 290s classic. Things do what? Things do think what? Things to do in Denver when you're dead. And two days in the valley. Great ensemble. I've never heard of either of those. That's a long. I cannot wait for Thelma and Louise tomorrow. Women all the way. I would love for you to see the fifth element. You know what? I was just thinking about the fifth element the other day. Or not the, maybe it's maybe I wasn't thinking about that. I was thinking about um close encounters of the fourth kind. I'd just be making shit up and I just say it out loud. Fifth element, I gotta remember that. Also, Ashley and girls play crossover. I want one to happen so bad. I gotta get with them and like email them and see like what a good time would be for me to travel there. The person before was right. Long kiss goodnight is Christmas. My copy is signed by Gina Davis and Samuel L. Jackson. Holy shit, those two in a movie together? That's very interesting. <laughs> Ricky said, we'll bring you candy. Well, if that's the case, then I'll take it. Hollywood Shuffle will be perfect for Black History Month. Hollywood Shuffle. I've never heard of that. Hey, Ryan. I'm late. Hey, I was late too. Don't feel bad. Was the third part of the artwork. Oh! You know, I knew I didn't know who that third person was, but I can't not retweet Ripley. I just can't not. For your cross. Oh, I did. Oh, fuck no. I did not travel to Australia for Mary. Absolutely not. I stayed up till two o'clock in the morning with her, though. You know, because she's like a whole day ahead. And so I'm a grandma. I like to be in bed by 9 p.m., babies. Like, I stayed up till two o'clock in the morning. I was dead. Hey, Ash, so glad you liked everything everywhere all at once. Goodwill hunting soon. And a meal, if you don't mind a French film. Of course, I don't mind a French film. Um, Goodwill Hunting is another one of those that a lot of people ask for, but like I always, or it always loses polls. Just so you know, Rachel is a different actress in The Dark Knight. Okay. God, I, hate, I know that happens for reasons unbeknownst to me, but I hate it when that happens. I can't be upset about it. Yeah. Abs that's this month, isn't it, Chad? Things to do in Dif Denver when you're dead. Oh, yeah. I forgot to write those down earlier. Oh, here's a hard question. Favorite movie since you've started streaming? Oh, my God. There's so many good ones. I wish I could go back and, like, watch Alien for the first time again or Predator or Still Magnolias or... Close Encounters for the first time again. What's some other ones? What's some other really good ones? The True Lies. I wish I could watch that one again. Terminator. I wish I could watch that one again. Oh, Big Fish. So good. No, fuck all y'all for saying E.T. You already know. Beaches. Get all the tissues. I'm down for a good cry right now. Grumpy Old Men is good. You're so right. That's such a good... I wish I could rewatch that one. Wit Witches of Eastwick. Let me tell you. There's so many... Blazing Saddles. I wish... You know what I might do? And I think I'm lacking one more movie to get the reference, and it's Planet of the Apes. I think I want to go back and rewatch Spaceballs. Because I watched Spaceballs at, like, the beginning of the channel when I had no information about anything other than Star Wars. So I didn't get... 90% of the jokes. So I think once I watch Planet... No, Geo, absolutely not. Once I watch Planet of the Apes, I want to go back and re-watch Spaceballs and get all the jokes now. Oh, Puzzled Hop, that's a good point. Shawshank Redemption was another great one. Hey, Jim. No, I love you. 
I don't live far from the property, which is a V. <gasps> like the big, the big house castle thing. I think with with space balls, I think I think Planet of the Apes is the last one. Shank shank redonk shank is the only thing I'm missing from that movie. X Men are Marvel movies. They just predate the MCU, same as Spider Man movies. Well, Ian, funny you should ask about the Amazing Spider-Man 1 and 2. I have not watched the first one, but I mistakenly watched the second one. A couple towns away. It's on the ocean. Oh, I bet it's so pretty. <gasps> I want to travel there and bring my drone. That would be fun. Ashley, I see you are a Sherry Curry, Sherry Curry friend, so I'm bringing you a movie that she stars in. That is one of my favorites. Hope you will do a review sometime. Donna, YouTube name is D. Engel. Oh, Death Becomes Her was another good one. Jodie Foster? Which I haven't seen Jodie Foster. I'm getting her confused. I haven't seen Jodie Foster since Silence of the Lambs, right? Clue is on the channel. Yeah, Jake, this is live. Hi, Jake. <laughs> oh, Little Shop of Horrors was so fucking good. Scream has been so good. Stop. Oh my god. The Exorcist. There's so many. Okay, so just because I don't list a movie, obviously, doesn't mean I didn't like it. It's just I forget. I take in so much information all the time. Fuck, there's been so many good scary movies. The screams that I've watched so far are so good. Exorcist was so good. The fly was so good. The practical effects in that and American Werewolf were so good. What's your favorite video that you've produced? Not movie. You've oh, Michael, that's a good question. James Can Can uh James Cagney? Angels with dirty faces or what? My favorite video that I've produced. Hmm. I think most recently most recently the one I've been most proud of for some reason would be Oh Brother Where Art Thou? That's probably my favorite. And then I was I was really proud of Mars Attacks until I rewatched it recently on YouTube like I pulled it up and I didn't realize that the movie audio was so low cuz when I exported it it sounded fine on my end. I was kind of proud of that one until I realized that the audio was low. Oh, Brother, Where Art Thou is probably my most recent one that I was, like, super proud of. Um, oh, yeah, Total Recall was a... Total Recall and Brother, Where Art Thou is probably the two that I'm, like, most proud of right now. Recent ones. Nothing else really stands out. I've kind of felt like in a editing rut recently. Personally. Oh, Galaxy Quest was fun. The comments of 2001 were amazing. Everyone was like, she got it on the first viewing? I think it's because I was elevated, Tachi. That's another That's another sequel that I want to get to. I don't know if it's any good, but the 2010 sequel, your faces on the three boob boobs were stellar. <laughs> I forgot I did that. That was really fun for me. I love doing stupid stuff like that in there. I Oh, I love 2001. I tell people all the time to watch 2001 A Space Odyssey, and I'm like, you're either going to really like it or you're going to really hate it. And if you really hate it, I didn't tell you to watch it. Darth! Oh my god! I was just thinking about you the other day. How are you? Life treating, how, how's life treating this week? I'd like to bribe you to watch Dark Crystal with, the, with this super chat. I do need to write that down, though. Darth, I was just thinking about you the other day because I thought to myself, I was like, I haven't seen Darth in the chat on Twitch because you're usually there. And I was like, oh my God, the last time I heard from Darth was 420. And you remember those pictures you posted on Twitter? And I was like, oh my God, I hope he's still alive. <laughs> okay, I wrote down Dark Crystal and one hour photo for Ricky. Do you watch YouTube much? Fave channels, non-reaction based? Oh, I watch YouTube all the time. Alter is great for those. Ah, thanks, girl. Uh, who do I watch? I watch. I watch a lot of stupid shit. Um, 
like I watch a lot of stupid like celebrity gossip channels like Tea Spill, Spill Sesh, whatever. I love to watch Loie Lane, Sam and Colby. Um, I also, this is really bad. Don't send me any because they freak me out. And I know some of you people watching will know how to get your hands on them. I love to watch mystery box unboxings. And I don't know if they're real or not. I just love to be in suspense. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Uh, James, I have not watched Hot Shots yet. Glad you intend on uh, to watch original sources before parodies. Lots of channels make that mistake. I did make that mistake with Spaceballs, but I need to watch. I need to, I want to rewatch it to get the jokes. I did make that mistake. So that's what I, so Jamie, that's what I watch. Hey, Eric, that's what I watch in my free time. Loey Lane, Sam and Colby, that kind of stuff. Mi okay, Chris, Chris is like mystery box unboxings. Okay, so apparently, according to these channels I watch, and I know stuff can be fabricated, okay, but apparently mystery boxes you can get on the dark web. I don't know if this is true or not. I know you don't react to TV shows, but if you did watch, oh, I would watch The Last of Us. I will be watching the Marvel shows, though. You'd really like Nexpo, I think, and Mr. Ballin. Really? Gio, I haven't caught, um, I have not caught any of her Twitch streams. I need to check that out. And you know what, Jamie? I haven't heard of either of those channels. I have to check them out. So, okay, so I don't know if this is real or not. But a mystery box, okay, is apparently people who get on the dark web... And you can buy a mystery box. And sometimes they're really expensive. Sometimes they're not. Whatever. And you get them and they don't have an address and no telling what's going to be in it. And like some of the videos I've watched, some are like, I love to buy into things. That's why even if I don't like a movie, I'm still going to, if I'm going to sit here and watch it, like I'm going to buy into the story, like E.T. and stuff. So that's why I can watch a movie and laugh at some of the jokes, like dazed and confused and still say that I didn't really like it because I'm going to buy into something. So all that to say, when I watch these mystery box unboxings, it can be from anywhere, from anybody, and you don't know what's in it. And so people will unbox these mystery boxes. And sometimes it'll be like super innocent stuff, like just a bunch of trash, like junk or whatever. And then sometimes, like one guy, I watched it, it was like an hour long. He claimed to have stuff from like a missing person's case from the 70s. And it was like a kid's book bag and stuff. Listen, I love buying into that shit. So even, even if it's an ARG, an alternate reality game, even if it's not a true video i still love buying into it and being scared because i like to torture myself if you do juneteenth glory you know what melinda we were talking about glory not too long ago i need to add that to the stickies so if you want to be scared i recommend um mystery boxes Ooh. sorry speaking of parodies if you do watch weird al watch the originals yeah that's something that people have said that i need to watch some movies before i get into weird owls Oh, Joseph, I'm down to react to musicals. I have a few on the channel, like Little Shop of Horrors and stuff. It just takes me a while to edit. But I'm open to it. You feel about the Girls Play YouTube channel the way I feel about the Tri Channel. Any Tri Channel videos with alcohol are great. Absolutely! I love watching Girls Play YouTube. I watch them on Twitch. I love their YouTube channel, too. Two films you should... Are Dogma... You... What? Different, but both great. You know, I think Dogma... I think I have to watch Chasing Amy before I get to Dogma. Three Amigos is on the channel. A great comedy sci-fi to watch is Dark Star. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Dark Star. Since I was a kid in the 70s, Storm has always been my favorite. From Dawn! <gasps> stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it! Contain <laughs> contains unlimited happiness. A Q fit Storm. Boxes are meant to be opened. Okay, well that's a dig at Funko's BT Dimes. Susan says, hey, Ashley, buy yourself something nice-ish. I would very much like to see you either watch Fire in the Sky or 12 Monkeys. Take care, girlfriend. No, you, Susan. You take care. Let me see. I, ooh, I opened the wrong thing. Oh, monkeys. Okay. I got them written down. Duder. Wow, such a fan of me. Oh, I'm 
so excited for the caution known to cause joy in humans. <laughs> oh, Tashi, I read that as Rocky Horny, and I was like, get into it, Tashi. <laughs> I was like, it ain't my business, baby. <gasps> oh, she cute, cute. Oh, she cute, cute. Oh. I propose the month of April should be 420 theme movies. You know what? I really thought Cheech and Chong was gonna win the uh <laughs> I really thought Cheech and Chong was gonna win 420. This is so cute. I've never heard of these. I have nothing to say, but Cash Bun keeps lighting up, so here you go. <laughs> Chris, you need to we need to I say you. You need to we need to message on Twitter about you coming into town. I want to put Storm in my Marvel corner real quick here. We'll just turn you. Little Storm, she's going to go in my little superhero corner. Boop. Oh, she cute. Alan, it would be the one with Bette Midler. Any interest or plans to reopen? Because I'm very interested. As of right now, I don't know if anybody's going to rotate off. I kind of keep, um, I kind of keep it like, open-ended that way people can roll off when they want to having trouble tagging tyler but i picked oh yeah tachi did pick some like it hot and he did tachi did specifically tell me that i need to watch some like it hot after arsenic and old lace you should do more terrifying 80s kids movies emily i'm trying to filter like drop in some scaries throughout the year but they keep losing polls so and let me tell you something if i have an editor soon which i'm hoping i do because i'm in talks with some uh i'm hoping to make hello beans even bigger and greater that's all i'm gonna say about that that's all i'm gonna say about that because i don't want to speak anything right that's all i'm saying i'd never win a poll but i'd love to see you blood machines one of my faves kind of indie mindfuck ministries with great visuals only 50 minutes oh wow that's really quick i mean hey people people tend to love some good mindfucks Blood machine. Oh, no. Oh, Adam, did I miss your super? Hold on, let me go back. Let me go back. Let me do a little scrippity scroll. Scrippity scroll. Raven Laura. Uh, try. It'd be leaping epic. Susan. Hugh. Adam. Oh. So waiting for the P.O. Box number to send you and Mr. Stevens past credit for Tiff. You have sent you my email address to help you get free love. Oh! Fuck. What is my... Oh! I'm holding... I'm holding a box with my address on it. Okay. So the P.O. Box address for me is... Adam, if you're ready. Is 4636 Lebanon Pike 362. That again is 4636 Lebanon Pike number 362. Hermitage, Tennessee, zip code 37076. Sorry, I missed your super chat. Sorry. Next movie is my fave. Cheech and Chong's next movie is my fave. You know, I just haven't seen any of Cheech and Chong's. Hold on. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I missed, I missed, huh? Jamie, my Haunting of Hill House. Oh, Haunting of Hill House was so good. I watched it independently, like when it first came out. So fucking good. If you want to be scared and you have Netflix, I think it's on, <clears throat> Haunting of Hill House is exceptional. Abbott and Costello make Frankenstein. I think I have to watch a couple of Abbott and Costellos before I get too far in. Listen to me when I tell y'all. Pelham, Pelham, Pel I say it wrong every month. I hear Book of Eli is good too. I remember when it came out, people were losing their minds. Oh no. Has Leon the Professional been on a poll yet? I have not, I have not put Leon the Professional. And sorry, I missed your super chat too. You know what? Maybe maybe I should stick with my I'm just rewatching my live works because when I'm typing, it seems not. I had to commit 
the commitments to the poll and what is next in the MCU. I got to watch The Last Stand. <laughs> what do I have to do to get you to, to watch The Return of Oz? I haven't put it on a poll yet. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'll promise that it'll be on a poll soon. These are the type of matches John Wayne used in The Quiet Man. They are also used in most Westerns. Strike anywhere matches. All you need is a rough surface. Rock cement. Listen, I love this shit. I got these. <laughs> I got a couple of boxes of these, the last unboxing. And I've already gone through a whole box. Because I just will be walking around. I'll be like... The Golden Girls dice set? Are you kidding me? What? 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 Why do y'all keep saying, oh no, not again? Oh yeah, oh well, because if you're on Twitch. <laughs> if you watch me over on Twitch, I even I even struck the matches on my microphone. <laughs> Because I can't keep anything in Who is this from? I don't even know. I didn't even look. This is from Phyllis. Tulips. I love them because I can't keep do live. Yeah. I am on Twitch. It's a recent development. Can I, How long can I keep saying that it's a recent development until it's no longer a recent development? Only a couple months. Yeah, Christian, I can keep animals alive and I can keep husbands alive, but plants, it ain't for me. I can't do plants for some reason. Now, my mammy, she had a great green thumb for me. I cannot. <laughs> hey, Jamie, so far. <sighs> Y'all want to know something? It's recent development. It just started 64 years ago. <laughs> yeah, sure. See? See me, Ashley? I have not done, done James Bond. East Coast. I do not grow the devil's lettuce. I live in Tennessee. That's illegal. And I am a law-abiding citizen. Chad, what's my favorite color? Blue. Blue. My soundproof. Oh, you can't see. My soundproofing is blue. My water bottle's blue. My fingernail tips are blue. Our cabinets in the old house is blue. Yeah, Darth, a fish called Wanda's on the on the channel. Basically, Adrian. Sometimes they list movies to react to. Sometimes we just be talking. We talked about this last live, didn't we? No worry, Duder. No worry. Thanks, Tyler, for that link. Lieutenant Cornelius. Is this the Krusty Krab? No, this is Patrick. Paul, has Blake bought you any Harry Potter Legos? No. Here's the thing. Is Blake loved his Titanic Lego set? Who sent this? It doesn't have a it doesn't have a thingy in it. It doesn't have a, a thingy in it. Oh, Chris coming through with that Twitch link. Thank you so much. Yeah, so 1000th Ghost just posted the link to my Twitch if you want to see. Oh, this is from Ricky, Tyler. It's from Ricky. The crust crusty crab pizza is the pizza for you and me. The Krusty Krab Pizza is the Krusty Krab Pizza is a pizza, yeah, for you and me. 80-year-old Ashley snorting the cook. We talk about some wild stuff over on Twitch. I told y'all that I have a pack made with a friend that when we turn 80, we're going to snort some cocaine. Oh, man. Do you do any impressions? Good ones? Nope. 
do I do? Do I do impressions? Yeah. Are they good? No. <laughs> Inky Binky, why wait? You know, I think I have a little too much fun on cocaine. Hold on, this is a big thing. This is from David French. <gasps> what is this? What is it? Hold on a second. I need a whole... Hold on, this is gonna take a whole... We gotta read this. Please add repo the, gene the genetic opera? I never heard that. We gotta read this for this to make sense, okay? Hey there, from Grand Rapids. You need to do some LG. Hey, I am. We, I have a whole list made, uh, like two Wong Fu, um, two, Wong, did I say that right? That felt wrong to me. Elisa, hey! Sorry, I haven't seen you. I haven't said hi. Say no to drugs, Ash. <laughs> Just smoke weed. I know. Uh, Priscilla, queen of the desert. Who lives in a pineapple? <laughs> See, Ash, please. Y'all love to just to Wong Fu. I said that. Oh, I said it correctly. Okay, great. Um, it sounded wrong for some reason. Spinal taps on the channel. Elisa, I just haven't seen your name pop up. I'm so sorry. But hey, girl. Um, I, I have a whole bunch of suggestions written down. I do plan on there being some pride polls. So let me read this for this to make sense. Okay, first of all, well done on successfully mispronouncing. And no, that's not a typo. My YouTube handle. <laughs> Y'all really loving some repo. Uh, it is, in fact, a port man to combining two words to make a new word fruit juice. The idea is that an ice pop, we call them ice block, in question is fruit drink flavored. I have to admit that I didn't think my last letter was that wild or crazy. I thought it was a nice, normal letter. Maybe it was just the culture class between our two countries. The reason I mentioned the thing I did was for context purposes. It probably didn't help that I failed to give you a link as to where you could find some of the commercials and questions. The website, oh, New Zealand Film Archive. There's also an advertisement from the 1990s YouTube available for viewing as well. I hope you enjoyed the Christmas card I sent you. It was the one with the washing machine joke. I did. I kept that one. Recommended. Hey, Zanzibar, by the way. Sweeney Todd. Isn't Sweeney Todd the one with meat pies or something? I thought that was Edward Scissor's hands. Hmm. Um. Hold on. Gift. Oh, as for my gift following on your from singing in the rain reaction, you said you wanted to be one of those. So I have sent you a costume to help make your wish come true. I was wondering, I was like, why are, we're not talking about flappers. Hope you enjoy it. I hope you make good use of the last gifts I sent you. I promise that type of thing to you again. Oh, David, I'm gonna have to look it up. I'm gonna have to look it up. Also mispronouncing usernames. I can't even read normal names. Okay, I feel like I missed a whole bunch of chats. Sorry. Hi, Chris. <clears throat> so I'm using my first super chat to recommend two of my favorite musicals, West Side Story and The Sound of Music. OMG, how have I forgotten about The Sound of Music? That has never been on a poll. I'm like Gone with the Wind. Never watched that. Do yourself a favor and get into some Betty Davis movies. All about Eve. Bet. Have I seen Betty Davis before? Maybe not. I was wondering, I was like, uh, hold on. Let's see, what size, what size this is? One size fits most. We'll see about that. <gasps> also, 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 I found out that Tennessee has, re whoa, Renaissance festivals. Mm. Uh, try it on. We ain't having a fashion show, babies. As a member of the LBGTQ plus community, I beg for you to react to, but I'm a cheerleader. Oh, that came up recently, too.
<laughs> what size are you? Most. <laughs> Most places have Rin Fairs. Okay, Sarah. Well, I didn't know. And I just recently learned. Listen. Listen to me when I tell you. Growing up in small town West Tennessee, we didn't have Renaissance festivals. We didn't have Rin Fairs. We didn't have these things. So, like, Comic-Cons are still a new. I know they've been around. But they're still, like, a rather new concept to me. And cosplaying is, like, a new concept to me. And I'm also, like, really insecure about everything and so <laughs> i know it doesn't come off that way like if you meet me in person this is how i'm gonna be but like if i i don't know what i'm saying you want to be safe while driving whoa i want you to be safe while driving may i send you a dash camera for your car i mean shane if you want to i'm still gonna be reckless though i do be speeding <clears throat> i do be speeding though Okay, I should not have read this first. This is from Archie, and it says yodeling pickle. And that's exactly what it is. <laughs> Hi, Isaac. The Ren Fair is every weekend this month. See, Ricky, I didn't know we had a Ren Fair. Okay, hold on. We got an electronic yodeling pickle. I have to open this. Y'all from Tennessee, you seem like you got some yee-haw. Stevie, me? There ain't no yee in my haw. Yee, and I cannot stress this enough. Haw. Hold on. Y'all want to see me yodel my pickle? Stop, you're disgusting. <laughs> I'm going through one of this. There's no face on it. It's just a fucking pickle. It was right. It's... Woody says pickles suck. Woody, you're wrong. <gasps> Who sent this to, to me? Uh, their name is Archie McPhee. If I was a mod, maybe it'd be easier to see. Me. Oh, at least you you know what, girl? You're so right. How am I going to have you a mod on Twitch, but not on here? Got you, girl. Right to jail. I got to stop. I must be stopped. I love this. Okay, stop. Focus. <laughs> Bars. Oh! <laughs> it's... Okay, so Archie Archie McPhee is not a person. B Jennifer, thank you so much for the super sticker. I'm well. It's going well. It's going fine. Thank you so much. Uh, I hope it's going well with you, Jennifer. Thank you for the super sticker. So it turns out... It turns out that Archie McPhee is actually uh, a brand, and it's called We Make Weird. I don't know what about a glow-in-the-dark fake rubber chicken and a yodeling pickle is weird to y'all. See, <laughs> pretty normal to me. Ricky, I'm working on it. <laughs> Blake, come help us. She's torturing us with a pickle. Chris, I want you to think about what you just said. Yeah, Jamie, a real rubber chicken because a rubber chicken's flimsy. This one's like hard. <laughs> Hold on, let me get. I gotta reorganize. Don't look in my butt. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh, Jamie said freestyle dancing. Let me tell you something. Y'all want to see freestyle dancing? That happens on Twitch. I've been doing that. <laughs> Tickle the pickle, make it sing. <laughs> Some of y'all need the Lord. <laughs> now, Ashley, go sit in the corner. <laughs> no. I don't know what this is about to entail, but I'm really ex My fingernails are like mine. Okay, okay, some of okay, some of the blues coming off. That's inappropriate. Some of the blues coming off. I got to get them done later this week, but they were cute. That's what they look like and not grown out. But they were cute. Mars Attacks a vastly underrated film. I know, Mars Attacks was a lot of fun. Susan, of course there's a yodeling pickle. Of course there is. Oh, this is from Stinky. Yodeling scare for Twitch. <laughs> I have so many good uh, ideas for Twitch that I have to work on. Hey, Ashley, this was mine. We talked about it on Twitch. It's too old to play, but maybe you can find a way. I hope you do. Stinky, what the actual fuck is this? How you got some big titty bitches on PlayStation 2 when you know full and damn well that I, I'm going to put this PlayStation 2 disc in my PlayStation. Number one, it probably won't work. Number two, them titties were probably triangles. No, Miko, stop it. Take it back. David, I did try the Charleston Chew. And let me tell you something. My teeth barely lived to tell the tale, but they were delicious. So good. The game is better on PC. What? Hold on. With gorgeous co-eds everywhere, college dweeb Larry Lovage is chasing around more than his diploma. He's trying to live up to the legend of his uncle Larry Laffer, everyone's favorite polyester playboy. It's the next generation of leisure... Leis okay. Leisure... Jesus Christ! Leisure suit Larry and his... And new... Um, once it's gone, it's gone. It just doesn't come back to me, do it? <laughs> Please make you wave in your pickle. <laughs> Stop. I was moving at work and I found a little toy. What toy? I found a little Toy Story Woody doll and I asked my coworkers if they wanted to touch my Woody. <laughs> Connor, get out of here. It's a game about getting laid. Listen, that's what I do in, in Grand Theft Auto. I just go to the strip clubs and I see if I can take them home. Because I'm very appropriate. Wasn't based on a book, but a trading card series. Ah! Leisure Suit Larry game is funny as fuck. Maybe I need to see if I can, like... Over 90,000 words of spoken dialogue. You'll never know what Larry says next. Stinky. <laughs> Oh, hell yeah. Radio Girl could never. Sounds like my college thesis. Oh, who's this from? Hold on. We got some DVDs. How do so many people know this game? I didn't know it. We talked, like Stinky said in his letter, we talked about it on Twitch, but like I had never heard of it. Well, Amazon's printer was running out of ink because these are almost blank. Hope y'all enjoy the movies. I recommend Silver Streak on Prime Streaming. It's Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor's first pairing on screen. Lots of love to y'all. Appreciate the laughs from Grace. We've talked about... <laughs> Chad, maybe. The First Wives Club. Oh, Bette, Mil Bette Midler, Goldie Hawn, and Diane Keaton. You know I'm a hoe for Goldie Hawn. Hi, Joshua from Tennessee. <laughs> Jamie, I'm not good at reading today. Something wicked this way comes. I'll tell you what. If you don't follow me on Twitch, 
by the way, if you if you're not a Twitch watcher, that's a okay. Just to let you know, Twitch is kind of like YouTube in the fact that like it's this live stream, but every Tuesday and Thursday, and I'm usually playing a game. Uh, so Tuesday, I was just like, you know what? I can't figure out some of this tech stuff. So I actually had a tech, the Count of Monte Cristo. So I actually had like a tech stream where the chat helped me set up all my stuff. And I was setting up the VR, the VR headset that Stinky sent me, sent me last unboxing. We got it to work, but my first time figuring it out and I didn't have the right thing clicked. And so they watched me. <laughs> they watched me literally. I I'm going to have to make it like an Instagram reel or YouTube short or something. It was literally me in the corner with the VR headset playing the game and the rest of the screen was not the correct screen. And anyways, I didn't realize it. Nobody could get my attention because I didn't. Anyways, so I play this whole song like two and a half minutes on Beat Saber, right? And I have the VR headset on and y'all can't see a damn thing other than me looking ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> so two and a half minutes later, as I'm playing the game, I take off the headset <laughs> and I just see that it's wrong. The entire time it was wrong. And the whole chat was like, we can't see, we can't see. <laughs> Anyways, it was a good time. If you weren't there, I'll have to, I'll have to get those clips and put them together and make like a little highlight. Cause I thought it was really funny. The chat thought it was really funny. <sighs> I have most of the VR saga and three clips on discord. Oh yeah. There's a whole clip section on discord. It, it <laughs> for me, it was a big struggle until I took off the VR. It's like, once I realized what happened, I was laughing so hard. I was almost crying. And that happens every day that she's on Twitch. Yeah, usually there's something that always goes wrong over on Twitch. It's usually, for me, it's a good time. And <laughs> Stinky said he watched the replay. <laughs> well, Stinky, if you watch the replay, then you know we finally got it to work. Uh, I finally figured out a really, like, redneck way of getting it to work. I'll have to do a deeper dive on that soon. Oh, VR Ashley was living her best life. Everybody else in the chat... <laughs> Was not. Was simply not. Oh, Yaki Yam, yeah, we played Animal Crossing too, because I got the Switch set up. It was literally a tech day of having of having the Switch set up, the VR set up. Oh, it was a mess. It was so funny. I think you'll like the Superman film, Man of Still, after you felt about the 78 film. It stars with, it starts with the DCEU, which I recommend starting after finishing Dark Knight trilogy, because Batman's different. How many different fucking Batmans can there be? It was ridiculous. <laughs> Chris, 78. A lot! <laughs> Goldie Hawn and Cactus Flower. Her Oscar-winning performance. Oh! With Walter Math... That guy? Tons of different Batman. I was happy to see that I wasn't the only one that wanted to piece together. Like, um... Like, Michael Keaton's Bruce Wayne with Christian Bale's Batman. I wish I could, like, combine those two. <gasps> the angel wants to bribe you to choose the comedies. The devil wants to apologize for bringing the wrong trident. Okay, I love that they've made a meme. Who is this from? Who did it say? Christopher Paul. Christopher, <laughs> Ricky, I'm the only Batman. I forgot. And Ricky is also a Batman. Apparently the only Batman. Okay, so the movies that they're trying to bribe me to watch is Strange Brew. Eh. Hold on. Arnold Schwarzenegger as, as in a Western? And they have a live Q&A every week. And a few weeks ago, the audio went off and it was 15 minutes before they realized. It do be like that sometimes. Especially if you're in the groove of things and you don't realize something went wrong. Return of the Cape Crusaders, if you want to see a campy version. I do love some camp. Strange, so again, okay, sorry. We got Strange Brew. Who's in this? Okay, Strange Brew and the villain. I'm more concerned about a cowboy Arnold. How did you like Katie Holmes as Rachel Dawes? I mean, I don't really know Rachel, but I didn't like the character. Geo, shut up. 
<laughs> and then they included a cute little crocheted little little angel and a little devil. I'm sure Arnold sounds real American Western. I, that's why I want to see it now. Because I want to hear Arnold be, <laughs> be a cowboy real bad. Oh my god, gum? I actually... I would love a piece. So, because... Why am I red-faced? Number one, I've had a ranch water. Number two, I was just laughing really hard. Number three, it's kind of hot in here. Number four, this is not color corrected. I wouldn't look this red if I was on the real camera. You should check out really eh, classics. The Room. Oh my god, I don't... I think I have some of those on DVD, Jamie. I think I've gotten some on in my P.O. box. Change Brew is done. John Candy and those guys. Oh! And y'all know I love John Candy! It's big raining outside. Spencer, your first super chat, fifty dollars. Holy shit! Have you watched the Donnie Darko on the channel yet? If not, how do I force you? <laughs> Jake and Maggie Gillen Gyllenhaal. Hold on, Donnie Darko. What's the feeling on Donnie Darko? That sounds. I know I haven't watched it on the channel. It does sound familiar though. Welcome back, Richard. How do we feel about Donnie Darko? Donnie Darko. <laughs> Jacqueline, yes. Or Jackie, sorry. Oh! Oh, wow! Watch Donnie Darko elevate it. Ah, oh, excuse me! I'm gonna just put this back in the box. Who is this? Hold on a second. Because y'all didn't- that's stinkies. Oh. Christopher Paul. Basil chicken or ramen for dinner? Both sound delicious. Why not put the basil chicken in the ramen, Chab? Hmm? Oh, really, Tyler? <laughs> Christopher really wants me to watch that movie. Oh. Let's see. Donnie Darko, are you afraid of rabbits? No. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> what is the movie? Because I wanted to put it on a poll and then I forgot to... um. I will be scared of rabbits. What's the movie? Um, because I wanted to put on a poll. What's the movie with a soccer ball or volleyball or something? And is it Tom Hanks? Somebody stuck on an island or something with the ball. Matrix is on the channel, friend. Hugo, cast away. Okay, I wanted to put that on a poll, but I couldn't remember. I didn't want to Google it because I was too scared it would give something away. I saw a meme of the ball recently, and I was like, fuck, that's another movie I need to watch so I can get these memes. Two rights. Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, that's going to be on a June poll. Watch Darnie. <laughs> Darnie? Watch Donnie Darko, then watch the 10 minute. But what if I understand it? What if I understand the movie like I did Space Odyssey? <laughs> These nuts. Yeah, but- Oh! Fuck yeah! Oh! Eddie Murphy Film Collection. We got Coming to America. Harlem Nights, we just talked about a moment ago. Norbit and Boomerang? I've never heard of Boomerang. I remember my dad thought Norbit was really funny. 
Coming to America, that's on the channel. I thought it was really funny. We got orange creamsicle flavor. Also, if you ever want to keep your gum, I don't recommend it because it's very gross. But, like, I know my gross. Anyways, you lick a spot, and then you grab your gum, and you put it in the licked spot, and then it won't stick to that spot. And then after I eat this Twizzler, I can pick that up and put it back on the... Sean, you did not have to send me a dash cam. Do you have a dash cam, Sean? I see people drive, like, a bunch of Ubers around here. Use dash cams. <laughs> Gio, actually, no. What? Y'all don't do that? Cypherin, hey! Listen, y'all don't come to me for for hygiene hacks. Huh. I have the same one. Oh. Are dash cams like good jobs? Like are they smart for just regular people to have? Okay, these are tasty. And that looks like a cheese whiz flavored. Okay, so a Twizzler is a red vine, but this is orange creamsicle. Just think about Donnie Darko, put a poll. That's a big cast. Jake and Mally, Maggie Gyllenhaal, Drew Barrymore, Patrick Swayze. Wow. <laughs> Ricky, Bill Murray is also the volleyball. I give those Twizzlers three out of five stars. Is it shitty if I go get another ranch water? Brian. People all the time try to like hate comment about the, I would expect nothing less from the from the woman who thought Princess Leia had sex with Chewbacca. What part of me not knowing anything about these movies don't they understand? In the UK, you get reduced car insurance if you have a dash cam. For real? Hell yeah, Whitney. Fuck it up. I love that for you, girl. Keep drinking them margs. Mm. Cinco de weekend. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna get a ranch water. I'll be right back. I'm either gonna come, I'm gonna come back with a cat. I don't know which one yet. Charlie. Hey now. Be cool. Be cool. Don't make me drop you on camera. No, hey. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. It's Charlie. I think Beans is upstairs. I didn't want to go all the way upstairs. What is he doing? <laughs> Look, Charlie, this is all our friends. This is all our friends, Charlie. They they love you very much. But no offense, they love beans more. And it's rightfully so. She is the queen.
Okay, okay, I'll let you down. Here, sit in the chair. You're fine. Say, look, you're good there. Say, look. Okay, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're like the resistance. Yeah. One last recommendation. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. I know. We've been talking about that on Twitch, too. Dirty Rotten Scoundrels. Oh, I did get toys for him. Charlie. Charlie, I have toys for you. You want a strawberry? You do love a strawberry. Hey. Hey. Look at me. Look at this strawberry. Yay. I'm having Diane Franklin on my live stream tomorrow who played the French girl, Monique. Oh my God, Charlie. That's awesome. Good for you. Bring back the strawberry. Charlie, you had one job. Fine. Fuck me, I guess. Now he's just walking around underneath my feet. Listen, come here. Th don't play with the cord. You can play with anything but the fuck cords. This motherfucker bit all the way through um my PlayStation headphone cord. I had to go buy a new one. Will you stop? See? This is why they want him you know what? Actually, my face is kind of red, ain't it? Stop it. Why do you always act... Oh, see, that's what you get. You fell over. That's what you get for acting stupid. How do you know Mary Cherry? Just online. We have a lot of the same people who watch, like, our videos. And so, we end up following each other and we, we talk a lot. Chris, you know, don't eat the tulips either. You ruin everything. But I love you. They want to see your face. No name. You want to know something? I put the abyss on the pole all the time and it never wins. Charlie also smells really good. I don't know if that's weird. I sniffed my cat, but he smells really good. Big breath. <laughs> Sorry for redeem for no swearing for five minutes. Oh yeah, that's another thing. I have no swearing on Twitch. Indoor cats tend to smell better than the outdoor ones. Okay, because Bean smells real bad, but I thought it was just because she was fat. I don't know who this is from, but Court Jester. And seeing the name Danny K made me remember, make them laugh, make them laugh. Tammy, my dog smells like corn chips. <laughs> Brian, I did. And I swear to God, when I said he was giving Obi-Wan Kenobi vibes, I did not put together that Liam Neeson was Obi-Wan's master, right? I just thought it was like an older man teaching a young, a younger man the ways of fighting and the rules of being part of this league. You know, I was like, oh, this is giving big Obi-Wan vibes. I swear to God, I didn't, it did not click with me that he was in Star Wars. Louis Capaldi vid, wish you the best. Now I got to go hug my pitties. I hear the his new song, Louis Capaldi's new song is really sad. Or the music video is. Is it one of your favorite movies? Oh, that's Donald O'Con- Well. The Troll King- <laughs> The Troll King grants you this gift. Another one that keeps losing polls. Ruthless people. And listen, I know we, we, we've, we've talked about this so many times in the chat. And you guys, all the time in the chat, you're like, Ruthless people are- But it never wins. Never wins. Whoa! The Price is Right reviewer. Never stop being awesome, Ashley. I love your... F Aww. If you want a fun classic with Rick Moranis, John Goodman, Halle Berry, Rosie O'Donnell, live action film. 
I did not realize that there was a live action The Flintstones. Hold on. Let me add that. Live action. Please tell me that John Goodman is Fred. No. Yeah, Fred is Fred. Rick Moranis has to be Barney. Halle Berry has to be Wilma. Rosie O'Donnell has to be the brunette, right? Sandlot this summer, Charlie, gonna work on it. Gonna work on it. We talked about that earlier. The Court Jester is one of my fave movies. I actually was just going to suggest it. I got sent it before, too. I always forget to add it to polls. Gotta go, Ashley. Just want to say thanks for being awesome. Aw, oh, thank you, future boy. Thank you for the super chat. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful evening, whatever you're doing. Matthew said just a message. Say thank you for your video reactions. Made enough recommendations in chat. Appreciate the hot mess express after a rough day in real life. I'm just happy you're here, Matthew. Thanks for being here. Sorry, I'm catching up. Hallie is someone else? Oh. Oh, Phantom X. Oh, I agree. Natalie Gold's cool as hell. Halle Berry plays a character not on the cartoon. Oh. Oh. I only know the cartoon and clearly not that well. Manny Pop, thank you! Listen, I've told y'all many times before that sometimes the only reason why I show up is because I know if y'all, if I show up, I know y'all will show up. Y'all get me through some tough shit. I don't know, I never get to feed off Nat Gold like I do with the others. We chat sometimes. Me and her, not often. Me and Mary, uh, like, message a lot on Discord. Will you put breakfast at Tiffany's on a poll so you will understand the sleep mask on the Beans Fist Tiffany? Art by design. Oh my god, that was you that sent that? This whole time I thought it was my friend Blake. Because it's like his same vibe. Like his same style. Let me let me add that to my sticky. This is from my friend Michael England. Hmm. Hey, shit. Hmm. Boop. Boop. Paul, we, I was just talking about that, Paul. Somebody else recommended that, and I was like, I wonder where Paul is. Hi, handsome Charlie. I may be sending an interesting suggestion on Patreon DM soon. Wish you all the best. Also, breakdown, did you say you were watching Planet of the Apes? I want to get to Planet of the Apes so I can watch rewatch Spaceballs. Let me write down breakdown 1997. Tiffany with Howard the Duck. You know... What was it? Why? We talked about Howard the Duck and somebody said, somebody said like, it w not that it wouldn't make a good reaction, but is it like copyright issues? I did watch Coal Miner's Daughter. What is Nicolas Cage in Willy's Wonderland? Why does this give me Five Nights at Freddy's vibes? Sorry. Not so bad. It's good trash. Just trash. Oh. My nose itches. These are from Michael England. Is it really, Elisa? Doesn't that give Five Nights at Freddy vibes? Which I've never played Five Nights at Freddy's. I've just seen other people play it. And like the posters for it and stuff. Charlie's walking around. Yes to Fletch. Is it Chevy Chase with just being multiple? Oh, this is Fletch and Fletch Lives. This is this is a two-disc combo. Hey, Carolina. My mom is a kindergarten teacher. I haven't seen her in the chat tonight, number one. Rude. Number two, the poppy playtime in the chat. She said, like, the kids keep bringing in, like, poppy playtimes for things. And she's like, it's scary. She's like, it looks so scary. I don't understand why kids are watching these scary things. <gasps> oh. My God. Catweb, twi Twin Peaks, as in the, um, 
Okay, so I got Gushers and Fruit Roll-Ups. That's why I said that. Arachnophobia. We talk about it every time for Hello Beans, and I always forget to put it on poles. <laughs> he gave you a shout-out as his fave. Whoa, huh? Gave you a shout-out as his fave on his live in particular for you. Oh, really? Nick says, Nick says, boo. I'll have to check him out. No, I never forget anything on purpose. That's what makes it so sad. <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> I'll put it on a poll. Didn't I already watch Clerks 2? Charlie's being a cat. He's playing in all the empty bags and stuff. Now my hands are sticky. Oh my god! No, I have not seen Super Mario's or Guardians of the Galaxy 3. I have seen people raving about Guardians of the Galaxy 3. And it makes me want to watch it so, so fucking bad. I'm not going to do that because we got a plan. But I have some serious FOMO for not seeing Guardians of the Galaxy 3. My cousin went and said he cried. J-Rob, Haunted Honeymoon has been on a poll before. Look at this little stupid. Oh, no. He was climbing the wall. I have no idea who Louis Capaldi is. He is... He's pretty much... He's pretty new. He's had some big hits on pop radio recently. Not a very classic. Like, dude, yeah. Has a really interesting voice. Very talented at singing. I have not seen La Bamba. Hold on, I'm just gonna put all eight of these in my mouth. Nice. Oh, I missed one. Ingy Bingy, is that his dad? The eight dusters in my mouth at once was a bad idea. <laughs> Matt said 700! Oh my god, stop it. I don't know who this is from, but look at that cutie. Look at that man. Wow. Oh. What a cutie. He should not be taking a picture that close to kryptonite, but look at him. Wow. Ah! Oh! Tyler, you know how to make so many connections. I gotta let Charlie out. He's about to start yelling. Are you ready to go out? Okay, everybody. Say bye to Charlie. Hold on. You ready to go? You want to go out? I want you to me out so everybody can hear you. Charlie, you want to go out? Oh, he's so ready to go. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. I'll let you out. Yeah, I'll let you go. Bye. Well, let me up. Okay. So long. Okay, then. I wanted him to meow. He has the cutest little high-pitched meow. It's so cute. Okay, I'm going to save these fruit by the feet for later. Peter Capaldi was the 12th Doctor Who. I don't watch Doctor Who! Sarah, why are you so sleepy? <laughs> fruit by the feet? Yeah, Spencer, that's the plural. You wouldn't say fruit by the foot? Ridiculous. Oh, box two of two. 
So I need to move that over here. Oh my god, I gotta tell y'all this. This is so funny. So we were picking up packages, Hubba and I were. And um, anyways, this new worker at the UPS store was like, what what do you do for work? And I was like, oh, I'm like a content creator online, whatever. And she was like, oh yeah, we have another one, another another girl who's online and gets um packages for work by Nate and gets a lot of packages for work. And she's a content creator. I was like, oh really? I was like, you know, like, who is she? And she was telling me names and she's like, what if she does? And she leans in real close. She was like, now she told me that she does content creating and that's what she tells people. She was like, but she told me that her version of content creating is only fans. So I assume that's what you do. And I was like, no, I was like, good for her. It's not me though. But she really thought I was only fanning it over here. She really thought. And I was like, girl, no, it ain't me. Lord Jesus help. She really thought. I ass I assume that's what you do. Exactly. Hold on, there's a card taped here. I know I gotta do the seven if I if and when when I watch King Kong, it will be the Jess Kalang version. <laughs> Only beans. Yeah, Carlos, I took it as a compliment. I'm like, thanks, girl. So nice of you to think I would have an OnlyFans. Like, wow. I hope everything is going well for you, Hubbin and Beans, for Pride Month. Some suggestions. For a poll, some like it hot. Victor and Victoria, which I've gotten that one on DVD. Rocket Man, Bohemian Rhapsody, The Danish Girl, and The Matthew Shepard Story. From Meredith S. And she included these two movies, which is Moon Over Miami and Pin Up Girl. Please react to some music. Also, quit eating. You're making me hungry. Well, girl, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. That's why I be eating. Geo, in other words, make that bag. Listen, I, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. I took it as a compliment. I was like, oh, thanks, girl. Batteries not included is on the channel. Project Myrtle. I'm married to a Meredith S. You better get your wife. She'd be sending me stuff. She'd be sending me stuff. I'm too much. We gotta stop. I don't have any plans to add music to my reactions just because I don't know how to get around that copyright. Number one. Number two, working in radio. I'm not saying I've heard every music ever created. That's not what I'm saying. I just feel like I'm at a disadvantage. <laughs> Hi, Freegal. Are you going to watch the live action series of Avatar The Last Airbender when it comes out? I didn't know there was a... I didn't know there was a live action Airbender. Danny's has a meal moon over my hammy. Are you kidding me? That's so funny. Oh my god, I haven't thought about a Denny's in a hot second. Phantom X, I love that. Tim, exactly. I want to be, I want to be that cousin that you're like, mm, I wonder if Ashley's going to come to the family reunion. And then I'm the one that brings alcohol. That's me. Shaun of the Dead's on the channel. Now, I love Avatar The Last Airbender, like the series and Korra, but I haven't watched the cool cousin. But I haven't watched the live action. I hop like a sad Waffle House. See, I prefer an I hop over a Waffle House. Oh, I didn't read the tag. Oops. Please watch this for Memorial Day. Put it on a vote. From Ricky. Oh, Ricky talked about this earlier. John Wayne? Now, Denny's, I've only eaten out of Denny's once. Waffle House, I've never eaten there sober. <laughs> I hop, I've eaten there sober. With so much Star Wars content out there, they should make Spaceballs 3 this first for Spaceballs 2. <laughs> that would be really funny. Still light outside Waffle House is different than 2 a.m. Waffle House. 
I would imagine so. 2 a.m. Waffle House, I never feel safe, but, like, the food's gonna be good. Steven, hell yeah, Mel Brooks is still alive. I hop, pee. Sean, Aliens is on the channel. I love Aliens. Here's box one of one. Miguel, I have not reacted to The Conjuring yet. Oh, this is from Chris and Joyce! <laughs> I'm sure I'm sure Chris and Joyce were sitting sitting at home like, this bitch really crying over an Easter basket. <laughs> Gio, don't be talking about that. Did you get the free chair with every meal at Waffle House? <laughs> I hop. I don't go there often, but I do go there and it's good. Waffle House, never been sober. Denny's, I've only been once. Ah, oh, Chris is in the chat. Bright blessings. Thank you for the light you shine that brightens everyone's day. Finally, Chris and Joyce. Would you, would you ever get really drunk or really high and re-react to E.T.? I think if I were to re-react to E.T., it would have to be in my next life because I wouldn't do it in this one. Inky we're close to the end, so I got, hold on. There's one from Ricky, Steven, Stinky Stinky, and I got two that I can't see. <gasps> Stop. It lights up. The Avengers LED lights up, 3D crack sticker included. Ah, oh, I love it when I get a crack sticker. We would say Denny's isn't the place you go to. It's the place you end up at. It is. It is. Oh, see, I say I say Waffle House is the place you end up at. And I've only ever been to the Waffle House outside of Tunica, Mississippi. If you're from America and you're from the South, you know Tunica. I love to gamble. I love to go to casinos. Tunica is literally nothing but a few casinos there's nothing else around except for a few casinos <laughs> and a waffle house <laughs> oh my god oh my god hold on it can stick to the no Yes! You can stick it to the wall! Oh my god! Okay, so it comes with an anchor, and then you put the, the crack sticker around it, and it sticks to the wall. It's like a nightlight. Tucker and Dell versus Evil is on the channel. Don, Don, I opened your gift, your package earlier. By the way. Well, it comes with anchors. What? Chris, I didn't realize. <laughs> I thought it was just like for funs and cutesies. Inky Biggie, which one was it? Gold Strike? That's my personal fave. I love Gold Strike. Sorry if y'all don't like to gamble. We don't go often, but Tunica is a good time. And the casinos have free drinks while you play. And that's how I ended up at Waffle House. You know what? You're so right. Thor did hang the hammer on a coat rack. Stinky, I got a package from you. So, Elisa, how much did I win at Tunica? None. And because I have so much fun, I only take like $20 or I go way too hard. I'll take $20 in physical cash and I play until I run out. But here's something Willie. <laughs> I'm not saying this. Okay. This might not be very ethical, but if you do this right, it's fine. Okay. This isn't illegal to do. It was a burp. Sorry, Spencer. It was a burp. Okay. So I go to a casino and I have $20. I play until I run out. Of, I, I don't play the high, you know, because I, I only allow myself like X amount of money. So I play like the lower shit, you know. 
whatever. The Troll King. Hey, hey, I opened I opened your movie earlier, just a moment ago, and I saw where it said, The Troll King has bestoweth a gifteth upon you. That was dramatic, but I opened it a couple minutes ago. I don't really gamble. Me and my parents were visiting Memphis and they wanted to see Graceland. Wow, so you went on a big adventure. Okay, so I take $20, whatever. But here's the thing is like modern, modern casinos like give you modern. They might be old school now, whatever. The paper slips that tell you how much more of a balance you have. Also, Troll King, so happy to have you here too, buddy. Um, That says like you have $5 remaining on this uh, piece of paper and you put that piece of paper in and out of the, of the machines anyways if you just happen to stroll by a garbage can sometimes you are lucky enough to find little slips of paper that people deemed unworthy of play and i have found slips of paper that range anywhere from five dollars to ten cents and so i don't just dig through the trash can. okay i'm not like a trash gremlin i'm not like ass in the air and digging through the trash, right? It's just like, if any of them are on top or around or have fallen out of the trash, I just take those slips of paper and I go play on that money. I took, I took, I took a $1 slip to a penny slot, made $64. $64. Okay, Rich, I might be a fucking trash gremlin, but you know what? It works. Right. Surfish trash goblin only so anyways if you go to a casino it's a shame when folks be thrown away perfectly good white girls like i do <laughs> people just be tossing white bitches all the time just be like in there so the most money i've ever won gambling don't do that in vegas i've never been to vegas but the most money i ever won was actually on a cruise ship and um at that point i had never gambled before and so it was the last day on the cruise ship. It was our first cruise. And I went to the casino and I had 10 physical dollars left. And I just put the whole 10 in there and I bet the largest amount, which was $8 and 88 cents. And I won $300 and I cashed that motherfucker out real quick. It's not a good story, but it's a story. <gasps> and a sh oh my God, I can't wait to put these up over there. I'm going to have fucking light up. And you included the AAA batteries. Oh my God. Thank you. I cannot wait to hang those up in that corner. These are going to look so fucking sick over there. Ashley is my favorite trash panda. Thanks. Oh my God. These are going to look so sick over there. Oh, you included the batteries in the other one too. Thank you. I'm going to, oh, these are going to look so cool over there. Oh yeah, once I'm once I'm up, I cash out. Unless I'm like using the trash money. If I'm using the trash money, then I'm like, fuck it. But I do I do cash out. You can't swear at my fiance. It big raining outside. Y'all probably can't hear it. I'm making sure. Duder said watch needles. Maverick comment. Sorry, y'all probably hate me popping my gum right in the mic. <clears throat> okay, hold on. I need to look for geos and I need to look for Indies. So they're stinkies. Steven. My light might go out. Nah, we good. This one doesn't have a name on it. Got one from Bob White. Oh my God. Bob, we're neighbors. Got one from Rick. All that's left are some, some like of these. Ooh. Oh, Inky Binky, I have yours. I always forget your real name until I see it. Do you want me to keep calling you... Ingy Bingy, or do you want me to call you your real name? Because you're the only one that I don't call your real name. If 
found a $500 winner? Hot damn, Mike. Good for you. Emma, for your tunica not been in the trash fund for me. <laughs> Flight of the Navigator. Let me write that down. Let me pull up my sticker. My sticky. <gasps> that was you who sent me the fucking pickle? I played with that earlier. We got the yodeling pickle for a hot second. And there's a tiny rubber chicken in there too. Empire of the uh, Sun? <laughs> Inky Big. I like having a fake name. Okay. But yeah, I have yours right now. What in the cursed fucking <laughs> Y'all are not ready for this. It's not a pickle, but there might be some pickles in it. It is a Golden Girls color book, porn parody edition. Would we like to take a gander at some of these coloring pages? I just gotta make sure there's... I don't know if I can <laughs> picture it. Sicily, 2023. Um, okay, very first page is titties. It tells a story. Do you want me to read the story? <laughs> oh, fuck. It's a beautiful Miami morning. Dorothy and Blanche join Rose and Sophia in the kitchen. Rose, honey, you're looking more down than a foot fetish at a shoe sniffing contest in hell, Blanche remarks. Don't you know what today is? Rose asks. I'm turning the because <laughs> I don't know what's going to come up. Of course, it's. It's only a little bit in here. Of course, it's Topless Tuesday at the bank. They're giving away a free titty fuck with every deposit. <laughs> Robin, I don't think so. I don't think you have. I don't think so yet, Robin. I have to send you know, uh, the toy with Robert, with Richard Pryor in the gold. I think I already have the toy, Rob, by the way. MRS666 wants to know, where can I get this book? Ingy Bingy, I don't know. Ingy Bingy, where did you get the, um, where did you get the book? No fucking way. Okay, let me, huh? We're just going to put this here. Today is also the St. Olaf holiday celebrating the time that the founding fisherman had sex with a mermaid. <laughs> <clears throat> Unfortunately, it turned out that the mermaid was actually just a really sexy carp. Blanche has an idea. If it's such an important holiday, then let's throw a party. It's not blurred. It's not blurred. I'm blurring it. Rose, you send out the invitation. Sophia, you choose the music. Dorothy, you tidy up. And Blanche says, I'll take care of the caterer. Okay. <laughs> Dorothy flipping us off. Accurate. You're a slut, Blanche. Dorothy remarks. <laughs> Happy gangbang day. This is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Elisa, it was Inky Binky. Is there a dick on here? In here? Not 
not Rose getting eaten out at the table while eating cheesecake. Do you want to hear the song? Do you want to hear the song? I'm going to sing you the song. I'm singing you the song. <clears throat> I'm singing you the song. Picture it. Sicily, 1920. Aurora, the village beauty, is invited on a date by Salvio, the village idiot. Okay, hold on. I'll s oh my God. The this is sex. This is sex. Oh my God, there's full-on bush. Oh, okay. And if you threw a gangbang, we'd invite everyone to screw. And you would see the biggest dick would be in me. And then I would say, fuck me, then fuck all my friends. I feel so dirty. I feel so dirty. Dear sweet Lord Jesus and all his little carpenter friends. Lordy B. I hope my mama ain't watching. <laughs> On a Sunday, no less. <laughs> oh, I missed a super chat. Sorry, 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 sorry. Let me scroll up. <laughs> I was busy looking at Golden Girl porn. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, how is it different from the show? Well, I saw full on Bush and Titty. Please add 12 Monkeys with Bruce Willis to the list. My fave time travel movie, and it really shows Bruce in a different light. I wrote that somebody earlier. I can't remember who did it. Who said it? But I did write that down earlier. 12 Monkeys. Next book Golden Girls and Golden Shower. <laughs> Chad, he said he found it at an adult store, so. Hachi. I love you so much in all your reactions. An underrated movie I would love to see you is Powder. Daddy Goldblum is in it. Also, Water for Elephants. You are awesome. No, you're awesome, Kelsey. You. I gotta stop acting like I'm gonna fake punch people. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it to the wrong person one day. It's not gonna be good. Kachi, it's no I love Lucy. The screaming sin is that actually. It's really good, Inky Binky. Oh, dear Ashley, love your channel. Here are a couple of my favorite movies. Hachi is a tearjerker for sure. And Gotcha has some action comedy. Hope you enjoy and can do reviews. From Donna! Hold on, who sent me this? Dear Ashley, love your channel. Oh, a couple of my favorite movies. Okay, well, this isn't a movie, but I got some freeze dried ice cream. It's called The Golden Gifts Porn Parody Coloring Book. And yes, it can be found online. And I trust Elisa, because Elisa be finding some wild shit on the internet. It's a tear extractor. <laughs> Gary, I have not done the notebook yet. Geo, I don't know. Oh, hold on. There's one under here. Hold on. 30 seconds. Let me do this one real quick and then we'll see. Harry, you know what? I was thinking about uh, Bonnie and Clyde when I was editing Thelma and Louise. And, oh, and then she mentioned this. Gotcha. Am I a fan of camping? Yes. It could be bought online, but does it need to be? Well, I have it. And just reading the story. Yes. You would see the biggest dick would be me. And I'd look at you and say, fuck me and fuck all my friends. Hey, Moncons. Welcome in.
I'm gonna have it stuck in my head. Oh yeah, where's the pickle? I gotta find the pickle. Where'd my yodel and pickle go? There's the wrapper. Did y'all see my lower back? You better not have. <gasps> Don't let the golden gift see that pickle. Ralphie Poo from Twitch, the seaweed is always the seaweed is always green now. Ralph, let me tell you something. Ralph, if y'all are not on Twitch, Ralph over there, Mr. Ralphie Poo, just loves to trigger my ADHD. He'll just send me like he'll just send uh, an equivalent like bits, like the equivalent of a super chat, and just trigger the ADHD in my in in my lives. Usually with song lyrics. Geo, yeah. Yeah. What if I have a tramp stamp and I didn't want you to see? What? What if I... Hold on, Gio. Two ash... No. That's not you. That's not you. That's not you. That's not you. Did I not already open it yet, Gio? For real, for real? Is C Bob White still in the chat? Cause I have I have his. I have Ricky's and I got two I got a stinky. What kind of box did it come in, G? Or what kind of like uh did it come in an envelope? <clears throat> like one of the white and blue ones, or was it in a box? Ken, why hasn't Dogma? Dogma isn't on the radar simply because I think I need to watch Chasing Amy first. Duquan, I already know, baby. Been there, done that. An Amazon package? Ricky? Bob. And un I mean, this is an Amazon box, but it has my name on it. Like, the whole issue was that you kept your name on it. Start the Revolution Without Me by Gene Wilder. I've, or with Gene Wilder. I've never heard that one. Where'd my fucking charger go? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Christian. Yeah, so I've heard Chasing Amy is the third movie in the View Askew universe. Gio, I for, I'm not... Listen. You know I'd be, I'd be up front and honest with you if I was like like being bitchy and like saving yours for last or something. I swear to God, Gio, I don't have yours. I can look at my car again. I can go ask them. Oh my God, it's huge storming. I'm gonna get such a good sleep tonight. I mean, I have this Amazon box, but it doesn't say your name on it. What is this? Who did send this to me? Who did send this to me, though? It for real might be under the passenger seat, though. Who said that? James, yeah, it for real might be under the... Who sent me a mini fridge? Oh, Cheryl, I'm sorry, here. I take it out. My bad, girl. And I hate chewing noises, so I know gum gets on some people's nerves. Gio, listen to me. I'm going to check in my car later, either later tonight or tomorrow. I promise. I will let you know as soon as I find it. Does anybody want to claim the mini fridge? Because I'm really excited about it. I know. It's... Here, let's go see. <laughs> Dingleberry. Watch Porky's. You know, Porky's has been on a channel before, or on a poll before, but didn't win. Hold on, I gotta fix my pants. My butt's hungry. Yeah, we got some lightning. We got some lightning. Well, whoever sent me the mini fridge, thanks. 
That's where I'm gonna keep my all my Coke Zeros and Ranch Waters that I drink. <laughs> <clears throat> oh no, it broke after a week of using it? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I had someone comment one time and was like, does she ever wear any other pajama bottoms? <laughs> Here's the thing, is I have three pairs of these. So you see me in there in them often because I have three pairs of them. Okay, hold on. This is from Steven. Our friend Steven. Ow. I love how Steven, Steven has a thing where he writes his letters on this black cardstock. Love it. In silver pen. Hi, yes. Hello. I found some oddball must-watch movies to send you this time, and I'm including some Star Trek action figures. So if I ever, so if you ever get watching the Star Trek movies, you'll have some memorabilia to put up after seeing them. From Steven. Thank you for your content and your energy, Steven. Whoever seen the mini fridge obviously doesn't want you leaving to get drinks while she. <laughs> oh, hey, okay. Hey, Kay. Con from Star Trek. That's one I haven't even put up on the polls yet. I've never put Star Trek on the polls. And it's no hate, no shade, nothing like that. So who is this? This is Admiral James T. Kirk. He's like the main dude, right? Kirk? Oh, Christian. <laughs> I didn't really send it. Oh, well. He's like the main dude, Captain Kirk, right? I didn't realize he was Admiral. Oh, he comes with galactic accessories. A Type 2 phaser. A Starfleet wrist communicator. A Captain's Log. Bonus. Star Trek movie action base. I can't do that. Can y'all do that? I have no way. Like, you have no way of proving that you can. So you could lie to me in the chat and be like, yeah, I can do that. Absolutely. Repossessed with Leslie Nielsen is a hilarious... You know, that is on... Nomad, that is on my radar for Hallow Beans as one of my, like... Did y'all hear that? It big. It big thundering! I gotta make this quick, fast, in a hurry. And then we got Khan New Noonan Singh. However... How the fuck do you say his name? Ricky, is it raining where you're at? Because this storm is ass off. Over here on this side of town. Noonian. I don't think it's tornado weather today. I think it's just a thunderstorm. Oh, Spock! Spock is the guy who does the thing. But this is like a universal thing, right? About Schmidt as a 2002 American comedy drama starring Jack Nicholson in the title role. And Kathy Bates! I love both of those. Steve Delicious. I got three Thunder Buddies. Beans, Charlie, Hubbin. Not in that order, but... No <laughs> Tyler. Noon your business. You yell Khan with passion. Is he a bad guy? Khan! Like Adrian from Rocky, but not... Adrian! Okay, so the movie's included. Eh. Hey, big scary thunder in. Okay, so if I just cut out, you you all know what happened. Okay, so we got Lost in Space, giving very much Galaxy Quest vibes there. Oh yeah, Parker Parker will come and go. Sean, have I played VR yet? Yeah, I have. I've played it personally, not streaming many times, but like on stream only once. And then we got Knock Around, A Man Apart, and Boiler Room. <laughs> Kevin, <laughs> I guess Lost in Space can be compared to Galaxy Quest, so Galaxy Quest sucked. <laughs> I just, I guess I just meant the. This, the, the, the cover is giving me Galaxy Quest vibes. Dingleberry, I will not rest until Porky's is chosen. Mel Gibson and Helen Hunt. What women want? Taco Bell. 
Lost in Space is not a great watch. Hmm. It didn't suck. It just wasn't great. It do be like that. Is hosting an off-Broadway parody of Star Trek now called Khan. Seeing it next week. Oh, W. Ram, you're going to have to tell us how it goes. You're going to have to tell us. I don't know if you're on any of, like, I don't know if you follow me on any social media, but if you can give us a recap, you should. Hey, remember that time we were just watching you wiggling in a chair? <laughs> Listen. You want to know where you don't get that kind of content? You want to know where you don't get that kind of quality content? <laughs> Professionals. That's where you don't get that kind of quality content. You want to feel normal and respected? Me. Hi, I'm nobody. I'm just in cool. <laughs> Enjoy your content. Peace. Valentine's Tube, you're not a nobody. You're cute. You're perfect. You're special. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. Never talk bad about yourself again. Listen, I'm telling you, when anything goes wrong, I think about Tyler saying, we do not come here for high quality entertainment. And I'm just like, thank you. 47 Rowan? Ron Rowan. Thank you, Gio. Nobody is a nobody on the Hot Mess Express. Mr. Bomb, hi! Stinky LaRue, spoken like Richard Simmons. Believe in yourself, baby. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, always a classic. I went to the um, Gaylord Opryland Hotel. Has like every year they have an ice sculpture thing. And this past year was Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Yeah. <laughs> DB Daydreamer, respect yourself or else. Oh, Venom. Venom. That's a song, sorry. I'm Mr. White Christmas. I'm Mr. Snow. Okay, but the cover's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, 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 please don't hurt me. You know what? I have never watched Jackass. Isn't it just pranks? Like, how did they make, how did they make movie? I thought it was, like, practical jokers, but, like, raunchy. You know, Ricky, I have Attack of the Killer Tomatoes and Attack of the Killer Clowns, like, on deck. Jackass is a big O note for me. Stunts, not pranks. Oh, oh, snap, my buddy Brenta Floss, he's a YouTube comedy music, actually wrote the con parody music. For real? Well, you know somebody going. W. Ram is going to see it, so... It's a lot of self-inflicted pain. It's less practical jokers and more stupid stunts. Oh. It's a hit or miss thing. Some love jackass, some don't. That's what I've heard. I hear people, like, people who love jackass fucking love jackass. And the people who don't fucking don't like jackass. Like, there's not an in-between. It's a little mean. Y'all know I don't like, I don't like it when people are mean. Horrible people doing stupid... Yeah, I don't like it when people are mean to other people. Because the title said it made her vomit. I know they're all friends. Oh, they're mean to... Okay, they're mean to each other. And, like, they know they're going to be mean to each other. If it's, like, planned beforehand, I don't know. I would give it... A, I would give Jackass a chance. Is what I'm saying, but I don't know. I keep talking to the creepy, trying to correct everything you mispronounced. Yeah, I'm stupid. No. You're not stupid. I'm just bad at reading. Elizabeth, the Egon dead. What? Is that a movie? Okay, it's voluntarily and they know each other. I don't know. Okay, like being mean to us on Twitter. I'm not mean. I'm only mean to Tyler and Geo, for the most part. If you only laugh at other people's pain, then it's not as funny, in my opinion. I don't know. 
<laughs> Christian, she was mean to me once, but did you start it? Did you start it? That's the question. That's the question right there. Is if I am ever sassy or mean to you, like I would never be for real mean to anybody. Did you start it? Exactly, Cindy. Tyler and Gio, they all the time be like, you're so mean to me. But what do they do? They start it every time. I don't know what the word is. It, it is when you like, like people to be mean to you, but some of y'all are real obvious about it. It ain't my business. It ain't my business. It would be unwise to be mean to the Troll King. Oh! Oh. Oh! Okay, do not open the small box unless you have completed Alien Isolation. If you have already finished it, then open it. If you haven't completed it yet, then please open it on stream after you finish the game. Until then, enjoy this clipolation I've made of your Alien Isolation play. Fuck! I haven't finished the sm I haven't finished it yet! So this is from Father Forrest in the chat. For, for a cancer fund, he would do the one chip challenge. I paid the money and then it felt really bad when he did it. No, he did it voluntarily. Never offer, never offer a reward that you don't feel comfortable doing. Do not feel bad. He offered it. He offered that option. And it was for charity. I've done crazy shit for charity. Uh, I can't open this box. Screen, not creepy, autocorrect. No! I just can't read anything ever. Don't feel bad for correcting my grammar. Masochist. Thank you, Chad. You should watch United 93. I think, honestly, okay, so I've been playing Alien Isolation, and I think I might finish it this Tuesday. So you know what, Father Forrest? I'm going to put it over here, because then I can open it on stream. Y'all keep telling me that I'm really close to finishing it, so I'm going to put that right there. Now I'm really scared. <laughs> Alien, Alien, then you should do Alien versus Predator. I've only seen one Predator movie. Stinky, this is yours, by the way. I've only watched one Predator. I haven't seen the second one. I got like a... I got like a... Zit or something. That shit hurted? Fuck. Sarah, only 5% done. I'm, I'm still working on the I'm still working on the tutorial. You do a damn good job of reading people's typos. So if you can't read something, it's because you are hardwired to read to for what? Hardwired for out typos. It's all good. Listen, I try real hard to read in general. Kevin, I'm working on it. I think one of the most fun things on Twitch is like <laughs> when people who just happen to find me because of the game I'm playing and then most of the chat is comprised, composed, composed of friends from YouTube. And so we have all these inside jokes going. They're like, what the fuck is happening here? I don't think you'd like jackass. They are mean and make fun of lots of people besides their group. That's not you. You're just about real funny. And yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, oh, thank you. Hi, Sarah. By the way, I didn't read your name first. Hey, girl. Oh, I love your new profile picture. That's why we love you. I, yeah, I don't like, I don't know if I would like jackass. I don't like to be mean to people. For real, though. Like, if ever Tyler or Gio was like, hey, I don't like this game anymore, I would never be mean to them again. Never, ever. Oh, I didn't know Kevin posted anything about mental health. Bye, Ben! Have a good night. Pure blatant honesty comes naturally to you. That can be a bad thing. Yeah. But that's why I don't lie about my reactions. Okay, Ricky. Hold on. Is Ricky here? Is Ricky or Stinky here? They're the last two I got. Greetings from Australia, where Mad Max Fury Road is called an ordinary Tuesday. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen, if you're from Australia, you might also watch Mary Cherry. I have a collab coming up with her, by the way. Oh, looks like the storm is about to start here, too. Well, it's a doozy. It's been raining its ass off here. <coughs> Thunder just started. Oh, Stinky's here. Okay. Since Stinky replied first, I'm going to open his. 
Gio, I for real don't know, Gio. I swear on my life. I swear. I know. I promise. I promise, Gio. Okay, I'll do Stinky's first, and then I'll do Ricky's, because I haven't seen Ricky in a second, so I don't know if he's still here or not. So, Ricky, if you're still in the chat, let me know. Daniel, she was really chill. We, me and, oh, you're both here. Okay, great. Mary and I get along really well, and I think, I think the collab went really well, too, because, I mean, y'all will be the judge of that, but because we also kind of have the same sense of humor, and I think I caught her off guard a couple of times. And so she really laughed at some things. And then on part two, she said some really fucking funny stuff. I think it's, I think you're going to like both parts. Okay. I think you're going to like both parts of the, of the collab. I hope. Da, 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 thunda. Da, da, thunda. Beans is upstairs, Shelly, I do believe. Okay. So this is from, sorry. This is from Stinky. This is from Stinky. Bye, Tim. Who did the editing? Uh, I'm doing the editing for my part and she has editors for her part. Beans hasn't been down here. Charlie was here earlier. Is this a stress ball that the eyes pop out? Who did the editing? Oh, I already answered that. So I, I do the editing for my part, and her editors will edit hers. Oh, ew, whoa, what the fuck, stinky? Blech. Stop. There's worms inside. There's like, that's disgusting. Yeah, beans. Beans is definitely. Oh, if it popped over this laptop, it'd be so sad. I'm with the chat earlier. Dot, dirty rotten scoundrels is my fave. Steve Martin flick, absolutely hysterical. Martin and Michael Caine, two con artists for one woman. Oh, and I love Michael Caine. I didn't realize that. Mallow cup. <gasps> it's like a Reese's, but with marshmallow inside. I ain't never heard of this. Beans. Beans has lost five pounds. Leave her alone. We're working on it. All that noise. Noise is not thunder. It's beans playing upstairs. <laughs> right. It's actually not raining here. All that noise is actually beans trundling about upstairs. Fucking, fucking stinky with the bounce pet hair lint guard. Which, meanwhile, oh, uh, y'all can't see it on this camera. I am literally covered in Charlie hair. How many beans do you think beans weighs? At least a couple of thousand. Eat my shorts. Oh, wait, is there a letter? Did I may have opened it up on the wrong side. It was, <laughs> I opened it upside down. Okay, I opened it upside down. My bad, Stinky. Shelly, no, I'm not moving. We moved to Nashville, like, about a year ago. You're in Tennessee, correct? How could you have never heard of Mallow Cup? I've never seen them. I mean, this does sound very Tennessee. This does feel very Southern to me. Stinky says... I don't even remember what I got you this month, but two autographs, one I think you may already have, but this guy is on your could get it list. We talked about how sometimes driving in Pennsylvania winters can, driving in Pennsylvania winters can suck and not to make you a jelly belly, but I shook the man's hand. Hold on a sec. Oh, okay. I shook the man's hand. By the way, he's now aware of you. Who? Are you talking about Rick? <gasps> Are you talking about Rick? Fuck. Ashley, focus. The other, just as just as iconic. No, it's not another Rick autograph, silly. Did Huffin get a kick out of last month's game thingy? I got you too. I hope so. Until next time, I will work on my penmanship. Hi to the crew, Stinky LaRue. Is this Rick? Is this Rick? Are you fucking lying to me right now? Are you fucking lying to me right now? Are you fucking... Where did you meet? Where did you meet this man? I wish I could sound like uh, Bart, but I can't. 
Where did you meet Richard Dreyfus? Like, holy shit. I don't think, I don't have a Richard autograph yet. I have a copy. I have like a photocopy of a newspaper that he signed. I have that one. Oh my God, Gary. Dreyfus could get it. He could get all this and then some, baby. I, I love, oh my God. Look at him so young. Oh my God. I love. Listen, I got Spongebob. The Spongebob one's up there. Y'all never see these in videos. I didn't plan ahead. Clearly. Spongebob. The three scream autographs I have. Um, Gene Wilder is photocopied, but like I love Gene Wilder. Um, got Binks the Cat, Kathy Bates, Flash Gordon. Oh, let me tell you. Oh, look at him. I could live without the goatee he's rocking, but. Mm. Question is, did you get Mary Cherry's autograph on anything? No. But I did tell her, I was like, if I want to come to Australia, I was like, you down to hang? If somebody had an original autograph from Gene Wilder, would you rather be Blazing Saddles, Willy Wonka, or Young Frankenstein? Let me tell you something. Gene Wilder could have autographed... Gene Wilder could, could sign a receipt for the Golden Gilfs porn coloring book, and I would frame that shit. Stinky, where the fuck did you meet Richard? Because, tell me something. I would eat it. I would eat him alive, I swear to God. Okay, focus. <gasps> Fucking stop! I was just talking to my brother and his partner about these. Um, oh, I have, I have, um, I have the two main dudes, you know, Scooby-Doo man and the other guy. And then, uh, Nive Campbell, the other one. If you love Richard Dreyfuss, you need to, need to, need to see Mr. Holland's Opal. Holland, <laughs> Holland's Opus. You met, oh, at a Comic-Con. Listen to me when I tell you. Light Bright is amazing. I had one as a kid. Loved them. My brother was like, what What college did I attend? I went to the University of Tennessee at Martin. Christian, I know. I know. But I don't know if he's watched season four of Stranger Things. Could be wrong. But it's actually not upside down. It's not upside down. Because see, that is correct. This is upside down because it's the Demogorgon. And he lives in the upside down. Who's autograph from Scream? I got, um, the one you said, the one you said, and the other guy from Scooby-Doo, the other guy who was in Scooby, what are their names? Fuck. I did watch What About Bob. Hold on. Now I gotta get my phone, because I can't remember anybody's names. <sighs> Richard called me while I was on vacation. He needed a massage therapist. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on a second. Massage therapist that a colleague recommended me. I kept... I kept the recording for a year on my answering machine. So weird to hear him say my name. I don't want to tell you what I would do with... <laughs> I, don't want... I must be stopped. You are very lucky to hear him say your name. Hold on. Let me get their real names. Um, Scream, Cass. Neve, not, Neve, Neve Campbell got hers. Skeet. <laughs> That's an awful name. Yule Rich got his signature, and I got Matthew Lillard. So yes, Chad, I got his autograph. They're up there. What else I got? Kathy Bates signature again. Nev. Oh, N Nev. Neve. Ow. I have not seen No Way Home yet. Hi, Jay. Sorry, but y'all know what y'all know the name I'm trying to say. 